I'm going to go over to the extension and have it book a meeting for me. So in this case, it's going to go ahead, use my Google account, and it's going to execute the command to create a meeting for me at 2 p.m. So in this case, it's going to create a title. It's going to sele select the date. It's going to also have the guest invite selected. So now I just need to go ahead and click on send invite. A while back, I had made a video on Multion, which focuses on developing a personal AI agent specialized to do tasks that you assign it. And just recently, they came out with a big new update to their framework where they introduced a new addition called Agent Q, a self-learning advanced reasoning and learning framework for autonomous AI agents. They released a new research paper as well as explaining Agent Q's capabilities, where they showcase how its self-critiquing mechanism as well as its iterative fine-tuning system will enable LM agents to excel in complex, multi-step reasoning tasks and significant significantly outperform baselines in dynamic real world environments like an e-commerce store. Now this is a video demo which will showcase a 95% accuracy of how it can interact directly with websites and automating tasks like placing orders, booking reservations, online shopping, as well as scheduling meetings. It identifies and uses the pixels on each web page to navigate and perform these tasks. Now although it's among the first application of its kind, it's representing a growing trend where AI agents can handle repetitive and time-consuming online tasks with near-perfect accuracies. And in the future, they're simply going to instruct these agents on what we want to basically do and have them basically take on and execute the tasks that we give it. So, And that's something that I'm going to be showcasing with this framework. And I'm going to basically showcase how you can deploy Agent Q onto your computer so that you can have it so that it can automate and do your tasks. So essentially how this works is that Agent Q improves by combining Monte Carlo's tree search with self critiquing and fine tuning. It uses reinforcement learning methods like direct preference optimization to help AI learn from both successes and failures. And it's an approach that's going to allow AI agents to get better at solving problems as well as multi-step tasks and by adapting and improving over time. And in my opinion, with this new Multion framework, it definitely enhances success rates. You can see that on a zero shot performance of the Llama 3 model went from an 18.6% success rate to an 81.7. This is a 340% jump from just one day of autonomous data collection and further to 95.4 with online search. So it just goes to show having the integration of this framework can definitely enhance the autonomy functionality as well as the self functionality of the AI itself. So now I'm going to be showcasing how you can deploy the Asian Q framework locally onto your computer so that you can easily do anything autonomously with these AI agents that you deploy. So first things first, we're going to need to set up all the prerequisites. You need to make sure that you have Git to clone the repository onto our desktop. You'll need Python as a programming language. You also need to have Poetry installed as well as OpenAI or any sort of API key that you would want to use from any LM provider. In this case, OpenAI has a great vision model so I would definitely use this. But now that we have all these prerequisites fulfilled, what I want you to do is head over to the GitHub repository, click on this green button, click on the copy link button, go into your command prompt. And once you are here, you wanna simply uh, type in git clone and paste the link in and click enter. Once it has finished cloning, you can then head over to the agent Q directory by simply typing cd agent dash Q and clicking enter. Next, we need to install Poetry. So go back into your command prompt and copy this command over here and paste it there. Once you have done that, it's gonna start installing Poetry. After installing Poetry, you need to install the dependencies. So simply copy Poetry install and paste it into Agent Q's directory. So what you wanna do next is start up Chrome in dev mode. Now you can do this for whatever operating system you have. So in this case, since we're on Windows and since we're gonna be opening this up in our command prompt, I'm gonna copy my file path for Chrome. It's actually separate from this. So I have went along, I have sourced through my program files and found the application in the right path. So I copied it and I'm gonna paste it right after the remote debugging part. So let's go back into our command prompt and let's paste this in and there you go it's going to open this up in a dev mode you can then run the agent with the python command over here so you would want to simply just paste this into your command prompt 
So I went along and I have pasted this command into my command prompt and you can see that it is now being controlled by automated test software. In this case, it is being ran by the Asian Q. Another option to install this is through Multion, which is actually a super easy way for you to install a simple Google extension, Chrome extension, and you can basically add it as a Chrome extension to execute web-based tasks for you. So in this case, you can open it up and it's going to be able to start generating various tasks for you after you sign up with an account. For example, you can request it, go to the YouTube channel called World of AI and find me a Claude Dev video. In this case, you can send it in and Multion is going to then find that video on Claude Dev for me within a couple seconds. It's going on to my YouTube Thanks, channel. YouTuber that goes behind it's the playing one of these videos and there you go. It found a Claude Dev video develop, within a second. A couple cents. And in the same manner, you can do the exact same thing with Asian Q within your terminal. And this is the flexibility that you get with Multion's framework. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what it's capable of doing in terms of running a couple of evaluation tests. So I went along and I'm gonna test this out to see how it's capable of generating various tasks. So let's go ahead and see what it's capable of doing with its orchestration agent task list. So I had actually requested it to go find a soccer game within one of the tests that it showed and it was capable of finding one of the latest soccer games which is being played today. Let's go ahead and showcase another feature where I'm going to go over to the extension and have it book a meeting for me. So in this case, it's going to go ahead, use my Google account, and it's going to execute the command to create a meeting for me at 2 p.m. So in this case, it's going to create a title. It's going to sele select the date. It's going to also have the guest invite selected. So now I just need to go ahead and click on send invite. And if you are to take a look on my calendar, you'll see that it has booked the 2 p.m. meeting for me. Now, in conclusion, this is a significant advancement in autonomous web agents as well as self-learning agents. It combines advanced search techniques, AI self-critiquing, as well as reinforcement learning to overcome existing limitations. And we can see that it was able to refine the framework itself to address challenges as well as approaching a full product release where it could signal a way for you to autonomously execute AI agents. And we saw that with the performance uh, score sheet that was released with the utilization of this self-learning model i definitely recommend that you take a look at this i'll leave all the links in the description below so that you can take a look at this make sure you follow me on the patreon so that you can access our ai subscriptions that we give out on a monthly basis for free make sure you follow me on twitter a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spare positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas